are two precious assets that we don't recognize and appreciate until they have been depleted." Unquote. Providing access to health facilities for all citizens and achieving universal health coverage <coughs> is one of the key priorities of my government. <coughs> my government is providing quality health care free of cost for all, for all through Dr. YSR Arogya Sri scheme. The scheme covers about 1.41 crore families and this constitutes nearly 95% of the state's population. The procedures covered under Dr. YSR Arogya Shri program have been increased from 2446 to 3255 from October 2022. The scheme coverage now extends outside the state to the cities of Hyderabad, Chennai and Bangalore for 716 super specialty procedures in a significant move to help the citizen, citizens, especially the poor, COVID-19 treatment has been brought under Arogeshri umbrella. 1.41 crore smart health cards with QR code are issued to the eligible beneficiaries under Dr. YSR Arogeshri scheme. Furthermore, under Dr. YSR Arogeshri Asara scheme, a maximum of rupees 5,000 per month is provided as financial assistance to patients for the post-surgery care, recognizing the need to compensate for their lost working ability. So far, an amount of rupees 971.28 crores has been spent benefiting 15.65 lakh persons. As a result of effective implementation of mother and child care services in the state, there has been a phenomenal decline of 19% in the maternal mortality ratio, which has steeply declined to 45. The state stood fourth at the national level as per the latest SRS report, and the state has already achieved the SDG target of 70 per 1 lakh libers well before the time of line of for the year 2030. Under the five child mortality rate two has witnessed a 13 percent decline and stood at 27 percent per 1000 live births as per the latest SRS report and inching towards the SDG target of 25 per 1000 live births by 2030. My government has formulated the family physician program intended to extend the healthcare services at the doorsteps of the community through the medical officers to deliver curative care in addition to prevention of diseases. Under this program, medical officers will visit Dr. YSR village health clinics twice in a month to deliver the priority medical services along with CHOs, ANMs, ASHAs and other PHC staff. To achieve the objective under the family physician concept, two doctors are made available in all the PHCs on permanent recruitment with one doctor attending the PHC and the other attending the YSR village health clinic through 104 MMU vehicles on fixed day schedule to provide the health care services. My government is committed to reducing the infant mortality rate by strengthening neonatal care services. <coughs> to reduce the neonatal mortality, my government is undertaking expansion and strengthening of facilities like special newborn care units, MINI tribal special newborn, newborn care units, nutritional rehabilitation centers. Leveraging technology, better health care access is being provided to the citizens in the state through Dr. YSR Telemedicine. Total 2.83 crore teleconsultations have been made, have been done through telemedicine 
which account for 35% of the total consultations in India, the highest done by any state in the country. My government has launched a comprehensive program of Nadu Nedu for remodeling government hospitals, up upgradation of infrastructure facilities and healthcare services across the state in a phased manner over a period of three years. As a part of this initiative, 10,032 YSR village health clinics, 528 urban health clinics, 1,124 PHCs, 121 CHS, CHCs, and 42 area hospitals are being upgraded. My government has already revamped the 108 ambulances and 104 mobile medical units with modern life-saving equipment. The village health clinics positioned adjacent to the village ward secretariats provide primary health care to the needy at the grassroots level. To ensure that best medical care, my government is establishing 17 medical colleges. In addition to the existing 11 medical colleges in the state with an outlay of 8 1,480 crores. Five of these 17 medi new medical colleges will start functioning from the academic year 2023-24. With the objective of reducing avoidable blindness from 1% to 0.3%, Dr. Y.S.R. Kanti 